يا صباح الفل ازيكم عاملين ايه؟ هاو ار يو دوينج جايز هوب يو دوينج اول فانتاستيك ويلكم اجين تو انيو خمسه مع رمضان فيديو اند ثانكس فور جوينج اور ليتل جيرنيز فور نوت اونلي ليرنينج عربي مصري بات انجوين ات اند توداي ان شاء الله ات ويل بي اور لاست ابسيد اباوت الحروف الابجديه ذا عربيك الفابيت ذيس از بارت 3 سو اوف كورس اف يو ديدنت واتش يت ذا فيرست تو ابسيدز از هايلي ريكومندد ذات يو جو اند واتش ذيم فيرست اند ذن كونتينيو جاست تو كاتش اب طيب ليتس جو كويكلي اند تراي تو ريمبر وات واز ذا فاني ستوري تو تراي تو ريمبر ذا سيكونس اوف ذا عربيك الفابيت سو ليتس جو طيب let's remember together we divided al huruf into three main groups because that way we can follow a certain pattern to try to remember them we started with group 1 or al majmu'a al ula which had alif by itself and then three sisters ba ta tha three more sisters jim or in masri gim then ha and kha remember The dots are the most important thing in this group because a lot of them are identical, all right? Then we spoke about the Magmu'a Tanya, group two, and the things to remember about this group that they are all twins, one without dot and one with one or more dots, right? Taib, Haruf al Magmu'a Tanya are Del, Del, Ra, Zay, or Zain, Sin, Sheen, Sod, Dod. Ta, va, ayn, and rain. And in the next inshallah, we'll speak about al Magmu'a Talta, the third group, which is the last one. And as you see here, there is no certain pattern as the groups before, no twins or anything. So let's consider each of them as a single child, okay? Type, as usual, let's read all of the group together and then we'll speak about each letter individually, alright? Yalla bina. Fa, qaf, kaf, lam, ميم نون هاء واو لام ألف ياء طيب let's start with the first ones which are فاء and قاف as you see here they are kind of unidentical twins the last of the twins let's see how we can write فاء together very simple it goes over the line with only one dot on the top يلا تاني As we agreed before, in Arabic, the sounds of each letter is simply the first sound of its name. So the sound of فاء is just ف. ف. Same as the F in English. طيب, let's take amthila examples and also remember writing together. فاء as in فراشة. فراشة. فراشة means butterfly. فراشة. طيب, يلا, to refresh, let's break down how we wrote فراشة. We started with fa, followed by ra. Again, remember ra. We never connect it from the left, and then alif fara, and then alif as well. We never connect it from the left, and then fara sha. So that's the sheen. We always cut the belly. Remember the golden rules for connection. You have always to recap them, and then at the end ta marbuta. And be careful. This ta marbuta is very very important letter. Why? Because number one. Remember, it's not one of the 28 letters. However, it is the letter that will show me that this word is feminine. It is a female word. So most of the words that you hear a sound at the end, or to be precise, a h sound at the end, most likely it will be this letter, ta marbuta. That means simply that the butterfly farasha is female in Arabic because it has ta marbuta at the end. Make sense? طيب يلا مثال تاني الحرف الفاء another example مفتاح 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 means key مفتاح by the way in فصحى it is pronounced مفتاح so focus on the writing you remember غين we said in the middle we close it it looks like flipped triangle right however the فاء it has to be round in shape that's actually the only difference between the two of them غين flipped triangle فاء سيركل تمام طيب now let's move to قاف قاف it looks a little bit same as the فاء however first of all it has a belly second it has two dots not one يلا تاني I go with the belly and then I put the two dots on the top طيب before the examples let's speak a bit about the sound of قاف because it's a new sound it's not in English Let's assume it's a bit same as the Q sound 
However, do you remember what we used to do with the ta and the sod rounding the lips, the technique of rounding the lips? It's exactly the same. So imagine if you're doing the sound of ka or q, but rounding the lips. It will sound as ka, ka. Cough is like there's an echo in your throat. Cough is like calling the birds. Cough, cough. You're welcome. <laughs> طيب, let's see امثلة to be more clear. قاف as in قميص. قميص. قميص means shirt. قميص. طيب, let's see another word in the middle. بقرة. بقرة. You see how I round my lips. بقرة. بقرة means cow. That means again, it's a female, obviously, since it ends with تاء مربوطة. بقرة. طيب, very important alert about حرف القاف. In Muslim, this letter قاف is pronounced as همزة, as a sound. So that means in the previous examples, قميص, in Muslim, it will be pronounced قميص. And also بقرة, it will be pronounced بقرة. So قميص, قميص. بقرة, بقرة. And so many other examples you'll hear always in the songs, for example, Qalbi, which means my heart. In the Egyptian songs, it will be Albi. Qahwa, which is Kathi, it will be Ahwa, and so on. To be more honest with you, with time, you'll find out that how the person will pronounce Qaf, I will know straight away where is he or she from, because almost they pronounce it different in all the major Arabic dialects. But let's focus on Masri, at least for now. They change it to A. Tamam? So always focus on Qaf. It's very important. Five. The next letter is Kaf. Kaf. That's why I was stressing on Qaf. So that means Kaf is simply as the K in English. No tricky things. However, the Qaf, we said it's a new sound. So Kaf. With stretching the jaw. Taib, let's write kaf first. It is as if you're writing big del with this little shape inside. Yalla, tani. Taib, I want you to pay attention to this little shape inside kaf because a lot of people they think it is hamza, right? You'll tell me, oh, it looks like hamza. However, it's not Hamza, it is the little calf that we'll see now when we connect any word that has calf, for example, in the beginning or in the middle. This will be the shape of the calf. It will change kind of completely. طيب, let's see example now. How to say a book in Arabic? It is Kitab. Kitab. So you see now the shape of the calf became the small one that I just told you about. Kitab. مثال تاني. Kaak. Kaak. It's a bit difficult word because it has ain in the middle. Kaak. Kaak means cake. Taib, did you see here? This word has two calves. That's why I got it on purpose. The first one is the shape that we just talked about. And then the shape at the end is the original one. Usually any letter at the end comes back to its original format. And by the way, kaak in Masri is pronounced kaak. So the ayin becomes ha in Masri. For example, the famous cake or the famous cookies that we do in al Eid, Eid al Fitr, we call it kahk al Eid. Kahk al Eid. Which is, by the way, for your info, is different from the normal cake. Because the normal cake, we call it cake or even cake with ta marbuta. So usually, kahk or kahk will be used for the one after Ramadan in Eid al Fitr. We call it kahk al Eid or kahk al Eid. Cake or cake is the normal cake. ماشي تمام؟ طيب يلا نكمل let's continue طيب let's talk about now three letters in a row لام ميم and نون and I prefer to give them together because they are the same sequence as in English ال ام ان so لام ميم نون in عربي طيب first how to write لام imagine it's the same as the L but in the mirror and as most of the girls they always say that the mirror makes them look fat so this is exactly what happened for lamb. It began with a little belly. طيب مثال لحرف اللام لعبة 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 means toy or game even. لعبة By the way in فصحى it's pronounced لعبة 
And to recap what we just said, if I ask you now, لعبة or لعبة, is it male or female word? It will be female word. Why? Because simply it ends with تاء مربوطة. So that means toy or game in Arabic. It is female. لعبة. مثال تاني. زلزال. زلزال. It has two lambs. زلزال. زلزال means earthquake. زلزال. طيب, how about the next one? Meme. Meme. This is how we write meme. It has so many ways to write it, by the way, but that's the most common one. مثال لحرف الميم. مدرسة. مدرسة. مدرسة means school, which is a female word. In سوتاء مربوطة. مدرسة. طيب مثال تاني حمام حمام with حاء in the beginning be careful حمام means toilet and be careful also you have to stress on the meme حمام because if you don't stress on the meme and you pronounce it حمام it's completely different word حمام means pigeons which is the plural of حمامة pigeon so you see الشدة or the stress is really really important here so, hamam, pigeons, hamam, toilet. طيب يلا الحرف اللي بعده the next letter is noon. Noon. This is how you write noon, like half circle with only one dot. يلا تاني. مثال لحرف النون, a word we said before, but it's very important and good practice as well. نعناع. Na'na'a. You see how I make it? Na'na'a. Na'na'a is mint. Na'na'a. Mithal tani, another example. Mantiqa. Mantiqa. Mantiqa means area. Of course, I can use mantiqa as just an area in the street, for example. Mantiqa, like neighborhood. Also, I can use it as just an area in the body, for example. Mantiqa fi al jism. And now, question for you. Try to take a guess how Masri will pronounce this word, Mantiqa. Here we go. We said earlier that the Qaf, Masri, they say it A. Eh. So they say it Mantiqa. Mantiqa. So you see, Mantiqa, Fusha, Mantiqa, Masri. Bye, yalla. Let's move to the next one, which is He. Hey, and I want you to really focus about this letter because we will say so many notes about it. Let's first of all try to write it. Ha. Yalla tani. Taib, before we take amthila for ha, let's agree on very important notes first. Number one and the very important note, ha is not ha. We agreed before ha is a new Letter, not in English. However, the ha, it is in English. This is the same sound as we say hat or honey, for example. This is the ha. But the ha that we said in the very beginning is so different. It's more sharp. Same when you say habibi or halal food, for example. So be careful. Don't confuse the ha and the ha. The second note, you have to remember that ha is the craziest letter in the Arabic alphabet. Why I'm saying so? Because remember, ha changes the shape in every location in the word. In the beginning, it will take a shape different than the middle, different than the end. So let's take a look again. So here is how you write ha fi al bidaya in the beginning. And here is how it looks in the middle, like the butterfly or the papillon. And here how it looks fi al nihaya at the end. And by connecting them, congratulations, now you know how to write the laugh in Arabi. Ha ha ha. So this is the best way to remember it. So I want you to focus here. You see how is the laugh written? So ha in the beginning looks like that. And fi al wasat, like that in the middle. And finally at the end, fi al nihaya, it will look like that. You have to close it. Which will lead us to the third note I want to tell you about ha. You'll tell me, okay, so ha fi al nihaya at the end, it looks like the ta marbuta without the dots. I get that. How about if it comes after one of the six letters that they never connect from the left? 
how the shape will look like. Very important point to remember, if I have hat at the end as a standalone, it will look like this shape, which is actually the shape that you're gonna find usually on your laptop or your smartphone. As a side note, the same rule applies for ta marbota as well if it is standalone. It will be the same shape. So remember, when you see this shape, this is how is the hat at the end standalone, not connected. It's very different from how it looks in the beginning, the middle, at the end, if connected as well, it will look different. Now you understand why we call it al magnona. So you see how many notes we said about ha already? It's extremely important. Tamam? So yalla, let's take amthala to practice. Taib ha in the beginning as in haram. Haram. Haram means pyramid. So al haram is the pyramid. Al haram. Ha in the middle as in muhim. Muhim. Muhim means important. Muhim. So you see, very soft. Muhim. I'm not going to say muhim. That's with the other one. Ha. No, it is muhim. Important. Ha at the end as in minabbih. Minabbih. You see how I make the ha stop at the end. Minabbih. Minabbih means alarm. Minabbih. So ha at the end, if it is connected, looks exactly the same as the ta marbuta, but without the dots. Minabbih. And by the way, this word in fosha, it's pronounced munabbih. So munabbih or munabbih means alarm, like the one that you said to wake up. Taib, let's see if ha at the end after one of the six letters that they don't connect from the left, like in the word intibah. Intibah. Intibah means attention. So you see, because ha here at the end after alif, so it's standalone, just circle. Intibah. Taib, again, I cannot stress enough on ha and how important it is. So always practice and always bring more examples, okay? The letter after ha is wow. Wow. Remember it from wow. And this is how we write wow. Very simple. Just go from here and then you go with the half circle. Again. Wow is very simple. It's just same as the W sound in English. So for example, how to say boy, it is walad. Walad. You see all of them fast vowels so walad as you noticed here you'll tell me ah muhammad we didn't connect wow as well from the left exactly because if you're paying attention we said we have six letters we don't connect from the left if we counted them we already said five so far let's remember all of them once again because they are so important alif del del ra zay and then wow now at the end those six letters, you never connect them from the left. And as I said before, for me, those are the most important ones to remember. Because if you remember them, simply that means all the rest of the letters you can connect, right? Taib, mithal tani in the middle as in majnoon. Majnoon. Majnoon means crazy. Obviously, in Masri, it will be magnoon. We said that ja is ga in Masri. So magnon for a male and magnona for a female. Type the next letter I want to tell you is lam alif. Lam alif. And I want to tell you something about it. Actually, lam alif is not one of the 28 letters. If you take a look here on the alphabet, you'll tell me, ah, where is the lam alif? I don't see it. As you can get it from the name, it's actually a combination of two letters, which are lam and alif. Taib, let's pause here for a second, because this letter, lam alif, it's not really a letter. It's not, let's say, in the 28 letters, but I like always to give it to my students because of the shape. Because even from the name, you can say it's a combination of lam and alif, right? The shape is very important because this is how we write the word la, which means no. So yalla, take a look again. So when you have the lamb and the alif connected together, this is the shape that you will see, which is a very important word because this is how you write la, which is no in Arabic. Taib, once again, this is how you write lamb alif, or in other words, this is how we write no, la, 
Also, I want to put it in the middle to show you how the shape will change a little bit. So, for example, in the word malaib, 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 first of all, it means course, like playing course or playgrounds. So, did you see what happened to lam alif in the middle? So, always remember when lam alif is connected to letters from the right, always the alif it will be like tilting, not standing like that. Very important note. Type another example for lam alif. Yimla, yimla, yimla is a verb means to fill or he fills. Yimla. By the way, in Fosha it will be yamla with hamza at the end over the alif. Yamla. Taib again. Did you see? Because yamla lam alif is at the end again connected from the right, so always the shape will be like that. Yamla or yamla in Masri. Again, as important reminder, we said lam alif is not one of the 28 letters i just give it to you as extra because the shape is important all right so always remember when i have lamb and aleph not connected from the right because we agreed anyway aleph will never be connected from the left so kind of standalone lamb aleph usually that will be the shape so very very important to remember how it looks like even if the alif has hamza, by the way, anywhere, so it will be still the same shape. You know what I mean? So, good to know. وأخيرا, finally, we reached our final stop. The last letter of the Arabic alphabet is the letter Ya. Ya. Let's go and see how to write Ya. So, usually start from here and then put the dots. يلا تاني The sound of yeah is pretty straightforward same as the y in English for example let's take amthila yeah as in yasmin 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 is jasmine obviously yasmin or yasamin in fusha so you see the shape it became similar to ah the sisters ba ta tha only the dots again will show me which letter is this so be careful that means if i do the same shape with one dot underneath it will be b if i put two dots it will be this one yeah so always focus on that طيب مثال حرف الياء في النهاية at the end as in kursi kursi means chair kursi طيب let's break down the writing for the last time today so, kaf in the beginning, this is how it looks when it is connected, right? And then we have ra, one of the six letters, we never connect them from the left. That's why we leave a little space. And then seen, we cut the belly, obviously. And then yeah, the last letter, so it comes back to its original shape. Tamam? And now, as usual, let's go for muraga'at al recap of today. Let's bring our table and try to remember the words we said for each letter. Yalla bina. Innaharda bada'ana bharf al-fa wa harf al-qaf. We started today by fa and qaf. Yalla, try to remember with me how to say butterfly was farasha. Farasha. And how to say a key was miftah. Miftah or Masri pronounce it muftah. Moving to the unidentical twin, which is qaf, we said a shirt is qamis, qamis, and a cow is baqara, baqara. Very important note about qaf, we said how the person will pronounce qaf, I will know straight away where is he or she from, from the Arabic world. For example, in Masri, they change it to a sound. So they say for a shirt, qamis, and for a cow, baqara. So starting from kaf, we have kind of the same order like in English and some other languages. Like K-L-M-N, we have kaf, lam, mim, and noon. Tamam? So yalla, moving to kaf, we said book is kitab. Kitab, also the shape changes in the beginning. And the next word was kaak. Kaak, which means a cake. Masri, they pronounce it kaak. Taib yalla, lam, how to say a toy is لعبة لعبة or Masri say it لعبة and also how to say earthquake is زلزال زلزال moving to meme how to say a school is 
Madrasa, Madrasa, and also how to say a toilet is Hammam. I have to stress on the meme, Hammam. And for noon, mint is Na'na'a, Na'na'a with Ayn, Na'na'a. And also how to say area is Mantiqa, Mantiqa. Same story, it has Qaf, so Masri say it Mantiqa. Moving to ha, and we said it's very important letter. For example, pyramid is haram, haram, very soft, haram. Ha fi an nihaya at the end, like in intibah, intibah, which means attention, intibah. Moving on to wow, wow as in walad, walad means boy, walad, and also majnoon, majnoon is crazy, and in Masri it is magnoon, magnoon. Again, important reminder, Lam Aleph is not a letter, it's just the shape is important, which leaves us to the last letter of the Arabic alphabet, Akhir Harf Fi Al Huruf Al Arabiya, which is Harf Al Ya. Ya as in Yasmin or Yasamin, which is Jasmine, Yasmin, and also Ya as in Kursi. Kursi is a chair, Kursi. By the way, you should have a little extra experience now in reading and writing Arabic. Hopefully, you felt more confidence in the latest examples. By mastering only those videos, you'll have, I would say, up to 90% of what you need to know to write and read Arabic. Only few stuff left for you to know, such as Tanween, for example, which is the known sound at the end, but we don't write it as known, we write it as double tashkil. Such as in Shukran and Afwan, there is no known at the end, it's just an ween. Also, for example, one of the things, how to write Hamza in the middle and the end of the word. Such as in the word of Su'el, Su'el means question, so this is how you write Hamza, on the top of the wow, because it has this U sound, Su'el. But those small things, inshallah, we might discuss it in a separate video. Still, this series about the Arabic alphabet is very important, so whenever you get time, whenever you get a chance, go back to recap them. And that was our final part about Al Huruf Al Abjadiyya. As I'm always telling you, always try to practice using your own hand. Of course, also put Arabic keyboard if you can in your device or your laptop. Make mistakes, no worries, just make as much mistakes as you can, that's normal in the beginning, but we have to start, as I'm telling you. So please let me know if you have any difficulty or any question, or even if you want more episodes about certain thing, I'll be gladly doing it. So I hope that this series about Al Huruf Al Arabiya made you look at it from a different perspective and made it kind of easier a little bit for you. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on the other social network channels not to miss the new episodes. Until we meet next time, inshallah, stay awesome. Remember, have irada and salam.